Hello and welcome to Houston. So, I'm sure you're wondering why am I in Houston? Or more importantly, why are we solar foods in Houston? Well, the answer is space. Today we are going on a space architecture workshop where we will be looking at different ways we could build a Mars city. It might be quite surprising, but Solar Foods hasn't just intrigued and got the interest of different people interested in gluten and lactose-free products and otherwise environmentally conscious people. Also, space agencies have shown great interest in Solane and Solar Foods. So what was the point of this three-day workshop at Houston? The Mars City Design Workshop has one single goal. Colonization of Mars and how can you do it? This architectural workshop was to explore different ideas, to create ideas, inspire new thoughts and map a road to the colonization of Mars. This of course isn't as simple as it might sound to some people. Spaceflight itself is inherently difficult and dangerous, not to mention that the distance needed to travel to Mars and the time needed for the travel itself makes it extremely difficult and dangerous. Some of the biggest problems for this kind of spaceflight is, for example, the efficiency of life support and radiation shielding. Now, solar foods can help with the life support system, providing a food production method that also helps close up the life support cycles, giving a possibility for a closed loop life support. A closed loop life support simply means that stuff is recycled and reused instead of just thrown away. This becomes extremely important when traveling to Mars and on Mars. One of the benefits of solar foods protein, Solane, is that it uses carbon dioxide as a source. Carbon dioxide is abundant in the Martian atmosphere and is also produced by humans when breathing. So the important question is, could Solane be the next food product to supply astronauts and new colonists with edible protein? This is something that we are looking into and really hope so. We hope that Solane and Solar Food can be a part of space exploration and colonization of new planets. So the second day of the space architecture workshop is now done. In the part of solar foods, it was mostly about listening instead of presenting our idea at this time and also giving some ideas to other people. The students of the space architecture class were presenting their ideas on how to build something on Mars, especially sports related. And we had also an astronaut interview from by online like a video chat one and then we have a couple of experts coming from NASA Johnston Space Center to evaluate the students ideas. Extremely intriguing to listen to the ideas and what kind of things you need to apply especially in Mars conditions but also when dealing with the hostile environment of space in general. Now this workshop is done for now, but Solar Foods will continue its research on space applications and who knows, maybe one day we will feed those colonists on Mars playing football in the fields or swimming in an Olympic size pool on the surface of Mars. Who knows what happens in the future, 
but don't worry, we will keep you updated. Solar Foods out. Thank you.